Adrian, it's lovely to see you. Hi, George. You're going to be the soloist and the star of No Friend But The Mountains, a symphonic song cycle, which we're producing along with Art Centre Melbourne and the Wheeler Centre at the Sydney Maya Music Bowl in March. Can you tell us a bit about No Friend But The Mountains, a symphonic song cycle? Yeah, well, um, it was written by Luke, a friend of mine who I'd worked with uh, in 2019. Uh, and this, uh, this work that he's written specifically for, for me will include a uh, 50 uh, voice choir from the Melbourne Bach Choir uh, and uh, nearly 100 players from the Zelman Symphony Orchestra with myself up front under the stars at the Sydney My Music Bowl. So it promises to be an extraordinary experience. Adrian, it's based on the book written by Beruz Bashani on Manus Island. Um, which was smuggled out in hundreds and thousands of WhatsApp messages. Mm. Um, how did you come to find out about it and um, how did you react when you read the book? I was in Perth working on Luke's opera Ned Kelly for the festival in 2019. Uh, the book had just won the Victorian Premier's Literary Arts, uh, the Literary Prize. Uh, and it was a bit of contention because it was the first time that an author who was not an Australian citizen or an Australian uh, resident had actually won the award. And so having seen that media coverage, I was immediately uh, interested to see what this book was about. So I went to the first bookshop I could find and uh, found a copy of it and read it and was reading it during rehearsals. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, the translator, um, Omid Tofigian, uh, he had um, turned some of the prose into poetry and reading the poetry I could just sense the melody and the rhythm in the language and thought it'd be perfect to put to music. So I half jokingly uh, said to Luke, uh, it'd be nice to, for him to write me something. Little did I know he kind of took that on and uh, here we are with a brand new work that we're premiering this year. So, Adrian, how did we get from you saying to Luke, hey, you got me a song cycle, mm -hmm. why don't you got me a song cycle, to doing it at the Sydney Maya Music Bowl with its Elman Symphony? Well, I'm used to singing song cycles with pianists. And Luke said, look, I don't really write, for, I don't really write piano music. Um, so when he came back to me, he said, let's find an orchestra who'll do this. Uh, so he spoke to the orchestras that he was affiliated with and, and had worked with. And uh, they weren't all that keen on the idea of commissioning it, even though they thought the idea was fantastic. So I said to him, oh, look, let me make one phone call. I think I know exactly the orchestra who would do it. And uh, I had worked with the Zelman Symphony Orchestra a couple of times. Uh, being a community orchestra, as you know, they're really agile and they can do amazing things. Uh, and uh, I had sung with the orchestra for their 80th anniversary, the Mahler Eighth Symphony. And then later we'd work together again on the Shostakovich 13th Symphony. And so when I uh, approached the orchestra about putting, commissioning this work and putting this on, um, you wholeheartedly, you know, agreed and wanted to be a part of this. And here we are. It's, you know, fabulous that I can share this with you after working with the orchestra so many times now. You've also done a, a um, Verdi Requiem with us. That is correct. Hmm. So, Adrian, what's the main message that uh, you hope the audience and the Australian public generally uh, will get from this performance? It's interesting, in the correspondence that we've all had with Beruz, he says that it's not just his story, it's the story of all refugees and all asylum seekers. And I, I think in 2021, I think the main message that I would like to convey to the audience is that we still have asylum seekers in this country. We still have refugees uh, worthy and desperate to come to Australia. And even though the media coverage has all but forgotten them, you know, we're living through a pandemic now, um, international politics is front and centre in everyone's mind there's still refugees and asylum seekers in this country, desperate 
desperate to be free in this country. And I think that's my main message uh, with the performance, with this performance specifically. So how do you feel about singing Beirut's words? In a word, uh, I feel overwhelmed, really, um, to think that uh, he actually may be linked to the performance, obviously not in person, but um, there'll be a Zoom link, I'm sure, or something like that, yeah, to think he'll be there to hear the performance, to hear his words immortalised in song. Uh, it's truly overwhelming, really. And the fact that um, one of the things that I love to do as a musician is work with living composers and living librettists, or in this case, a living author, um, it's uh, really exciting and uh, very humbling. You can go on to the Art Centre Melbourne website or zelman.org.au and find out a lot more about this concert and you can even book tickets. Um, the Music Bowl is going to be a COVID safe venue and it's going to be wonderful. In case you're wondering, uh, my name's George Deutsch and I'm the chairman of the Zelman Symphony Orchestra Committee that is producing this concert. And as I said, we are proud and honoured that Arts Centre Melbourne and the Wheeler Centre have joined us in doing the planning and presentation of this concert. Thank you, George.